Good morning, it's been a while, um, but I'm back for a short one about lesson planning. Um, got me yellow and me blue strides on, supporting Ukraine, as we all should be doing. Um, and also, breaking news, I became a granddad on Sunday, so I'm a little bit out of school with. But anyway, back to the important stuff. Uh, you, lesson planning. Did you, the trainer, identify the pupil's learning goals and needs? So let's have a look. The purpose of all driver training is to assess and develop the learner's skills, knowledge and understanding in relation to the contents of the national standards for driver and rider training. Research indicates that it's best achieved by placing the client at the centre of the learning process. Usually, this process takes place at the beginning of a lesson. However, where you and the pupil have been working together for some time prior to the part three standards check, or standards check, you may have already laid down the basic structure of the pupil's learning goals. You can take this into account when planning your lesson, and the examiner should see it when they're accessing this element. If you've not worked with the pupil before, it's perfectly okay for you to ask the pupil to undertake a demonstration or assessment drive. This is prior to actually turning up for the wheels standard wheels turning part three. This should give you a good idea of the pupil's level of competence and provide a basic a basis for a discussion of the pupil's needs. So you, you you're looking for what can I help them improve and develop from the drive I've just seen and negotiate with them? So that's the goal or the learning outcome of the lesson. It's also important to remember that a better understanding of the pupil's needs may emerge as the lesson progresses. It follows that this criterion cannot be ticked off at the beginning of the lesson and then forgotten. It's a constant you hold the learning outcomes in your head all the way through. And they may shift because you might, and this is another something I'll come to later, and not today, have to shift the goal of the lesson to make sure that the original learning outcome is achieved. As the examiner observes the lesson, they should be looking for indications that the elements which go to make up the low level competence are being demonstrated. In this case, the sort of things that would give them an indication of competence include you encouraging the pupil to say what they want from the lesson. You asking questions to ensure that the pupil understands, the client understands, that you continue to check understanding as the lesson progresses. Listen to what the pupil is saying. Take notes of their body language. So I just need to go to take taking notes. I just need to go to my notes. So I'll make sure that I'm giving you good information. So bear with me, because I've made some notes. If you encourage the pupil to say what they want, they ask questions and you ask questions to check understanding at the beginning and as the lesson progresses, listen to what they are saying and also pick up on the body language, you're likely to get a three. If on the other hand, you do all the listening bits, but fail to spot the learner getting very tense and nervous in particular situations, then you're probably gonna get a two. You would have demonstrated your understanding of the need to listen, etc., but not have yet developed your ability to spot non-verbal clues. So to finish this one, indications of lack of competence could include uh, making assumptions about the client's understanding or experience, failing to note negative or concerned comments, or notice body language that shows some form of discomfort, undermining the pupil's confidence by continually asking questions clearly beyond the pupil's knowledge or understanding, and pushing the pupil to address issues they're not happy to talk about, unless there is a clear need such as an identified risk or a safety critical issue. So I'll be along hopefully again this week, but I'll keep chipping away at this. So hopefully you find them useful. And the next one would be, 
What are we going to do next? Oh, yeah. Was the agreed lesson structure appropriate for the pupil's experience and ability? So hope this works for you. Um, let me know. You can always put something in the comments. I know I'm not alone and talking to myself. Um, have a great day, everyone. The sun is shining on a glorious Wednesday morning in Kent. So have a wonderful time. But we do cover the UK all, all the way. We are Tri-Coaching Partnership. Look us up. Cheers. Bye-bye.